Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome to another episode of the Road Warrior video blog. I, I've I've had an ongoing love hate, more hate than love, with my face over the years. And as you can see right now, I'm wearing the Van Dyke, which I think I've been wearing now for about seven months. You know, it's funny. Growing up as a fair-haired, blonde-haired kid. I didn't have a lot of facial hair, couldn't grow a mustache, let alone a beard of any kind, shape, or type, probably until I was, well, in my mid to late 20s. In fact, I think I grew my first real mustache, real being a rel again, a relative term, because it, it, while it was thick, you still couldn't see it because it was so blonde, it didn't really show up. But I was probably 26, maybe, so half my life ago, I was able to grow my first mustache. I've talked about some of the kids I grew up with who, you know, we had one kid who, you know, had his first beard when he was in sixth grade. Jeremy something, I forget what Jeremy's last name was. I've talked about Jeremy before. But it's funny, is, is every now and again I get the desire to wear the Van Dyke or the goatee. Most people think this is a goatee, whereas you get the mustache and the little bottom part. But really a goatee is just the bottom. A Van Dyke is the full with a mustache connecting to the goatee with or without the little soul patch part. Um, for years, I, I ran the Van Dyke, which I've always liked. My father wore one for a short time in the 60s. There's a picture of him and me with him with the Van Dyke, and I love that beard, if you will, forever. I've never grown it well on the sides, or I didn't like the feeling, or it itched too much, so I've always just gone to the Van Dyke. And for a long time, I went to the Van Dyke without the soul patch part. And, and then a few years ago, I kept it and then just went with a soul patch. And every now and again, I just go with a mustache, or, you know, I, I've always liked having facial hair. So back in, I think it was December, right, right after Thanksgiving, for some reason I decided to grow the beard back. And grew it back, and, and this time it actually, well you could actually see it in pictures, you can see it in videos easier. Because, well, I mean, now that it's a little bit grayer, it actually had some visibility to it. it made me look a little older at times, some people say it made me look a little thinner. I, I wasn't going to complain, but I opted to keep it for a while. But lately, I felt in the mood to shave the beard. And I don't know why that is. I don't know what causes that. I don't know what makes me want to keep it, want to get rid of it, want to do anything with it. It's kind of odd. Um, but, you know, every now and again I have the desire to grow it. And then every now and then I have the desire to shave it. Now, today I have the desire to shave it. That doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to go do it when I get home. It doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to do it tomorrow. Um, the, the, the mood kind of comes and goes. The, the feeling is fleeting, if you will. But um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if next week you don't see me clean shaven again. A at this point, I don't care. I mean, and if I do go clean shaven, I could shave it and then grow it right back. I had to do that. So I, I got dressed up for something, and the beard wasn't quite ready to go out in public yet or to be seen, you know, in a nice picture setting, or I'd have a picture taken or something. So I had started growing it, had it for a couple weeks, shaved it, and then went back and started over again. Luckily, at this point in life, I can now actually grow facial hair enough to where if I've had it for three or four days, you can see I'm growing facial hair. And somebody go, oh, you haven't shaved. For a long time, I could go a week without shaving and nobody would really notice. Um, so, I don't know. Again, if you enjoy it, you better chime in now. But then again, by the time I record the next video, it may be too late and it may be gone. Or does it really matter? I know at the end of the day, really, isn't it what I care about and what my wife cares about? Isn't that really all that matters when it comes to the beard? Or maybe I go back to the mustache. No, my wife hates the mustache. To be honest with you, and I don't like it as much on me as I do with the, with the Van Dyke. I think it looked better with the Van Dyke than I do with just the mustache. The soul patch was fine for a while. I did that for a year, year or two, and you didn't even realize it was there half the time. But it was there. It gave me some character. And it also made people call me names sometimes. You know, it was the douchebag beard for a lot of people, but. We're back with another Road Warrior next week. KevinMason.us, that's the place to find the Road Warrior video blogs. That's my, you know, the U.S. meaning for the U.S. highways. Okay, that wasn't the reason why we took it. I really wanted the website RoadWarrior.com, but of course, the wrestlers were going to get that or somebody else was going to get that. That was way too common and way too easy for somebody to have. So KevinMason.us is where you can find us. You can hit the RSS feed there and make sure you catch every episode when they come out on Sundays. Or the easiest way to do it, in all honesty, and I don't care one way or the other if you watch it on the website or if you watch it on YouTube. Post them to YouTube, Kevin Mason Music. That is my username there, all one word, no spaces, of course, because there are no spaces allowed on YouTube. And uh, you can you know, check us out there. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also by putting it on my, my 
my just my general Kevin Mason music YouTube channel. You'll also get some other stupid things too every now and again. I do post some videos of some of the bands I work with. Not a lot on that channel. That's just some spare stuff I'll put there. Um, also just some weird little small video clips. Um, Ferris wheels, you know, super stupid videos. Again, isn't that what YouTube's for? Sorry, I digress. Next week, to shave or not to shave, that's the question. We'll find out our next Road Warrior video blog. See you.